Today we're going to learn how to transfer uh, music from cassettes to CD. Now it's quite a long process but it's not very uh, hard to do. What you're going to need is one of these. It's a male to male 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack cable. And the other thing you're going to need is a cassette player. I have a uh, old uh, uh, ghetto blaster or whatever you want to call it with a dual tape deck you really only need one tape deck now what you're going to want to do is make sure these settings are the way I'm going to show you right now before you start if your cassette player has um, a uh, graphic equalizer you're going to make sure they're all on zero or balanced center like that and if it has Dolby Noise Reduction, you're going to want to make sure that's off unless the tape has Dolby Noise Reduction. This uh, stereo or this little ghetto blaster has normal mono and FM mode. Um, but you're going to want to leave it uh, on uh, FM mode because that's tape play. And this last setting here isn't uh, really that important. Um, that's just a part of the radio itself. Now what you're going to want to do is uh, plug in the um, the cable I just showed you into here where it says headphones and then uh, plug that into your line in. Now on all sound cards this is a universal color code the line in is blue, a light blue. Now the next step is to uh, basically start playing the tape. Now uh, what you're going to do after you start playing the tape is you're going to want to watch the sound meter on the software you choose to use. I may use Audacity, I may use Nero. Uh, and you're going to want to watch the sound uh, meter. On Audacity, if it hits zero, that is perfect. You don't want it to go any louder than the loudest point of the uh, sound, or the track, pardon me. Uh, so the song it hits a loud part, well it'll hit a zero if you have it there. That's level on Audacity, that's not too loud, not too quiet. And for Nero, I'm thinking it'll probably be red or yellow. Uh, red is too high of course, and yellow is just right. And you don't want it to get any higher than yellow, otherwise it'll sound really horrible and distorted. So now I've got Audacity installed, and what I'm going to do is uh, uh, link it in the video description. It is freeware, meaning that uh, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, it's completely free. Uh, and you're going to want to do uh, check on and make sure you got a, the settings correct. Uh, this MME is fine for audio host. And for output device, usually just leave it on your speakers. That way you can listen in to see how the recording is going. And then line in is what we're using. Now to make it simpler, before I said that the uh, line in was blue, uh, uh, color coded. You can also just sometimes it happens to be the same as where your microphone is plugged into if you don't have a USB microphone. And then uh, channel input channels. It's either one or two mono or stereo. I chose stereo, of course. And then the next step is simply placing a tape into your cassette deck and pressing play uh, and leveling out the volume so that it's perfect and then recording. Now the next step is really easy. You basically just uh, hit record here now that you have everything set up. You hit record and then you press play on the cassette player. And I'll turn that off because I don't want to have that uh, playing because it would be a copyright violation. And as you can see here, the two red meters at the top, they are moving. That means it's now playing the music off the cassette and recording it onto your computer. Now that we've got the full cassette into Audacity, 
what you're going to want to do is uh, delete the blank parts where there's no audio. So you click here, and then you hold the left click button and drag back. Then you go to edit, and you go to delete. And it just removed the blank spot. Now, you're going to want to crop each individual song into its own track. Um, you can either uh, save the whole entire recording as a track and then split it later on with another program into tracks, or you can do it in Audacity by simply, let's we'll say for example the song ended here at the 12 second mark, you click here and you go like this, and then you click edit, you click cut, and then you would go new, and then you would click edit again, and you would click paste, and there you go, you got the 12 seconds. Now that's how you can make an individual song track. The next step you would do, uh, even when you're rec wanting to uh, keep the entire uh, tape in one track, would be go to export. Now I've already chosen um, MP3 as the format, and you can click here and change the settings. You can go all the way from 320 kilobits per second to 8 kilobits per second. Constant, variable, average or preset, and then stereo or joint stereo. I chose stereo uh, and 192 kilobits per second constant bitrate. So you click OK and then we'll just do test and you click save and here you can enter the artist name, track title, track number, year, genre, and all that. And you click OK. And there you go. It's encoded the song. And that's all you have to do. And there you go. That wasn't very difficult at all. It's actually quite simple and most people can do it without any uh, computer hardware upgrades or software purchases uh, that most people don't like to do anyway. So that was very simple and I hope it helps you be able to take your cassettes and put them onto CDs. Uh, extending the life of a cassette that you probably no longer listen to since most people have switched over to CDs or MP3s. Now records or vinyls are a little bit more difficult because you have to have an RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack cable or some sort of converter uh, to do that. I hope this video helped you in a little, in a little way. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.